I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez addressed the Texas school shooting during a House Education and Labor Committee hearing last week. The shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, left 19 children and two adults dead. The New Mexico Democrat appealed to GOP senators to act on gun safety legislation. She called on those Republicans to, quote, put our children as a priority instead of the gun lobby. This school shooting has reignited the gun control debate across the country. Listen in for more from the hearing. Next is General Lady from New Mexico, Ms. Ledger Fernandez. Thank you, um, Chairman Scott and Secretary Cardona for beginning today's hearing by acknowledging the 19 families who won't be telling stories to their babies tonight, who won't see their child go on to middle school or take pictures of them before their first school dance. We won't get to help them decide which college to attend to or take them to college or what their life plans are. You know, it's not just them, but we know that Uvalde, uh, what we've learned of it is a tight knit community and the whole community is suffering. Y señor Cardona, gracias por hablar en español para nuestra gente, porque no hay palabras, ¿no? Para describir el dolor y la indignación que sentimos por la muerte de estos inocentes niños. América, todos deberíamos llorar y sufrir para las familias. En lugar de estar ahí para aprender y conocer tus amigos, ¿no? Estás ahí llorando. Es una tragedia para toda nuestra nación. And my constituents and I are sick of inaction. The House passed multiple bills to address the gun violence crisis, some of them even with some Republican votes, bipartisan. And all we need is 10 Republican senators who have the courage to stand with the nearly 90% of Americans who support sensible gun safety legislation. You know, and we could use the help of more Republican House members, the Republicans on this committee and others who are gonna put our children as a priority instead of the gun lobby, because we can't effectively teach our nation's children if everybody isn't safe in those schools. So Secretary Cardona, thank you for the work you're doing uh, with regards to safety and for your very measured and intelligent responses today. I'm gonna to talk about minority serving institutions because every institution of higher education in my district is a minority serving institution and the majority of those are Hispanic serving institutions or HSIs. Uh, and in the wake of COVID-19, HSIs are being asked to do more with less as they continue to educate and serve their students in buildings which are not adequate with inadequate funding because we all know that HSIs are severely underfunded. So I noticed the $236.7 million request in your budget and question, uh, I think it is continues to be insufficient in meeting the needs of the 559 HSIs and the 5.1 million students that educate and serve. Um, Secretary, how do you envision closing the disproportionate inequitable gap for the 559 HSIs? with a request for Title V Part A at $236.7 million. Uh, thank you for, for your remarks and, and for your passion around um, not only uh, Uvalde, but, but the responsibility we have to protect our babies. Um, you know, Hispanic serving institutions, uh, TCCUs, uh, HBCUs, they all provide tremendous value. They punch above their weight. And in many cases, they're, uh, uh, these institutions also do not have the level of funds that they need to keep up with research and development and make sure that they can continue to grow. Uh, we're proud that uh, in this new budget proposal, there's $450 million proposed for a new initiative to expand research and development and infrastructure at uh, minority serving institutions such as uh, HSIs as well. So we recognize, and the president has been very clear from day one, the importance of these institutions and how we need to make sure that they have the funds needed to not only serve the students during the pandemic, but also grow uh, for, their, for their institutions as well. 
Thank you. I also want to discuss uh, an issue that is brought up to me wherever I go, and uh, that is education workforce shortages, especially uh, the need to recruit a diverse workforce here in New Mexico. It is Native American and Latino bilingual education speaker, speakers. We don't have a lot of time, um, but um, how are you going to be working to support states and school districts and strengthening and diversifying the educator workforce? Thank you. Our, do, our proposal does ask for funds there. And so I'm going to be very specific. I want pipeline programs in our high schools. I want high school students getting high school credit and college credits and, and be connected to a, to a four-year school so that that four-year school, when they graduate, they're ready to go back into that community that served them so well to become teachers. I want to use the funds to initiate programs that have apprenticeships around teacher preparation programs, uh, mentorship programs to retain our teachers too. It's not just getting them, it's keeping them in the profession. And I wanna make sure that we're supporting our teachers and elevating the profession so more people wanna go into it. Thank you, Secretary Cardona. And that issue of getting them from the community because then they'll stay in the community is so key. Uh, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for this hearing. Uh, thank you.